Hotepo Tepo Tep. My name is Lord Yukili Osai. Lord Yukili Osai. I knew Rafa Elohim Mira more El Sadai. More power, more love, more 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 uh more grace, more honor, more judge. Whatever I attach my I am to, that's what I am. That's who I am. I am many names, many vibrational frequencies. Names equate to vibrational frequencies and waves. And also names equate to information. And information equates to energy. And I am broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Dark dropping in, you know what I'm saying, from the it verse, which is universe C, you know what I'm saying, shit is getting real serious, and um, I think that it's very important for me to drop this little, um, this quick dark code on you, you know what I'm saying, the metaphysics of music, music is very metaphysical, and right now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead, and you want to, um, you want to start listening, you want to change up your musical arrangement, you want to start listening to, 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 to music, you want to get you some Duke Ellison, some jazz, some Duke Ellison, you know what I'm saying, you want to get you some Tupac Shakur, um, even Biggie Smalls, you want to get you, but mainly Tupac Shakur, you want to get you some Tupac Shakur, you want to get you some, um, some Duke Ellison jazz, some Tupac Shakur hip-hop rap, you know what I'm saying? You want to get you some um some Jim Morrison the Doors. Very key. That's the key right there. Jim Morrison the Doors. Jim Morrison the Doors. Listen, ancestors for some reason love Jim Morrison the Doors. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you're working with Osiris energy or um or even Het Haru energy, Osiris, I mean um Jim Morrison the Doors. That's classic rock music, classical, I mean classic rock and roll music. You know what I'm saying? Jim Morrison. And then check the metaphysics of his name. Jim. And then um with the, the J, the I, which is the I of Haru, you know what I'm saying? The M, which is 13, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, which is my at as well. And then you got the Morrison. More I son. He's the son of more. You know what I'm saying? This dude walked around with nappy ass curls in his hair and a long guy's beard. A uh, so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? That shit is so revolutionary. Uh, so revolutionary. You need to get the Jim Morrison the door CD and play that shit when you're doing your altar work, when you're doing your worshiping, or you honoring your ancestors, or you honoring certain deities. You know what I'm saying? Play that Jim Morrison. That's good at outer music right there. He got a song called Come On Through to the Other Side. Break on through to the other side. You know what I'm saying? Some, some of y'all need to break on through to the other side. I'm talking about getting out of this physical mundane reality and breaking over into that, that spiritual realm where I am and where your ancestors are, where we waiting for you to come. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and so some of this, this music is very metaphysical. Also, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison, Jim Morrison and Jimi Hendrix, they're both... The same on the same kind of plateau, but they dealing with two different kind of rims. See, you listen to Jim Morrison, you you go you go you he's gonna put you in a different dimension in your brain. See these these masters that they, they, they were so powerful on earth that they had to they had to make a transition. Some of the government tried to kill them and they had to make different kind of transitions and shit. These masters, you know what I'm saying. Or dropping shit when they when those are the ones that you want to get the ones that were so called killed or the ones that made a transition because they was too hardcore on earth them the ones you want to get you want to listen to your Bob Marley but mainly Jim Morrison and Jim and and Jimi Hendrix why Jimi Hendrix is gonna put you in like a he's gonna put you in like a psychedelic psychedelic reality like when when you listen to him he's gonna open up portals and dimensions that that you normally would have you would have missed. You need the metals, the metals that he's playing and the, the, the electric guitar, the electrolytes that you're going to get and the metals, the metals that, that's going to beat and chisel down certain densities in your mind. This shit is metaphysical. And when you hear that metal and when you, the metals playing, the heavy metal, and when you hear the bass and when you hear the electric guitar, the electric guitar of Jimi Hendrix, psychedelically, he going to put you in a whole different sphere of reality. You see what I'm saying? And that and that and that that guitar and and that and the metals is going to chisel down. It's going to be like chiseling down you know what I'm saying? The different rocks that surround you. And then you're going to wake up being the god that you are, the goddess that you are. You know what I'm saying? So music is very metaphysical. You know what I'm saying? Even with, even with, even with, you know what I'm saying? Even with Jim Morrison, when you listen to his music and you hearing the drummer play and, it, and he's hitting the, the snare, the snaps and the, and the snares and the. You know what 
what I'm saying? All of that, the, the snares and the claps and the high claps and all that shit, that's chiseling it down. And then with Jim Morrison, see the, the doors, they had a unique thing going on because they played like an organ kind of uh, instrument and that shit be going. That shit be going when you listening to that, to the, to the, you know what I'm saying? Come on, baby, like my fire. Do -do -doom -doom. Come on, baby, like my fire. Do -do -doom -doom. It's time to set the world on fire. That shit is a killer on a road. Doom, doom, doo -doo -doom, doom. Riders of the storm. Doom, doom, doo -doo -doom, doom. See, you need to listen to that shit, man. The crystal ship. The crystal ship. He talking about crystal <laughs> crystallizing your brain, yo. And, 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 and blasting off, activating your Merkaba and getting your light body and blasting off, becoming crystallized. He's talking to the suns. He's talking to the netters and the, and the, and the nephilims, irregardless of what color you are. Melon is a mind state. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has a certain kind of melon in their skin, but melon is a mind state. It's a, it's a mind frame. It's, it's, it's a certain mentality that you have to have. You see what I'm saying? Dealing with melon. It's a certain mentality that you have to have. All right. And so melanin is a mind state. And I want you to be mindful of that. I want you to be very mindful of that. Um, and so Jim Morrison, very key. These is keys right here. Jim Morrison and Jimi Hendrix. They go hand in hand. Two different kind of musics in the same era. You know what I'm saying? They had to, Jimi Hendrix had to make a transition and Jim, Jim Morrison, Jimmy Morrison had to make a transition. Why? Because they was too powerful here on earth. But it, every, whenever you got a, a artist who was kicking real conscious and subconscious music and, and, and they, it was too powerful for this wounded beast that they had to make a transition and, and cross over to the other side, that, them, that's the music you want to get. That's the music. Tupac, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, uh, Jimmy Morrison, um, um, uh, uh, Jimmy Morrison, Duke Ellison with the jazz look very key. That's another key. You need to listen to, to Duke Ellison with the jazz. Very key. He was around a time when it was it was something called the Black Rep Renaissance, where you had Duke Ellison, um, um, Richard Wright, James Bowens. You had the uh, you had the uh, you had the um. You had all of those those different brothers coming up, and they was dropping down a lot of signs, and they was writing a lot of books. They was inspired. It was a wave of energy that came from series and woke them up. You know what I'm saying? They got downloaded with all kind of information. They was they was inspired to, to invent a new kind of music called jazz. Jazz was relatively new. This was some new shit, and Duke Ellison had came and mastered that shit. You know what I'm saying? He was in the park playing. Didn't have the money to go to school and get the musical arrangements shit, shit. He played from the heart, yo. And to this day, he is the he is the most profound, um, uh, um, 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 uh, 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 the most profound, um, um, illustrator when it comes to jazz and in in terms of putting uh, um croquette in terms of putting together musical arrangements and shit. He is the greatest arrangement when it, arranger when it comes to musical arranger when it comes to jazz music. Duke Ellison is the king of jazz music. Period. Hands down. You see what I'm saying? And and you want to get his music. You want to get you some 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 Duke Ellison and listen to that Duke Ellison. All right. That's the very key. It was it was a, it was a time when they got away from series and and all of them woke up. They start um, um, painting a lot of um, uh, artists, a lot of uh, so-called black artists, a lot of so-called called black uh, painters, um, uh, writers, you know what I'm saying, they was appreciating, they was committing themselves to literary art, appreciating literary art and writing shit down, documenting a lot of truth, rebuilding that, the Alexandra Library, you want to get you some of that Duke Ellison, dealing with the, the, that's when they start getting into, you know what I'm saying, science, that's when they start getting into astrology, and that's when they start getting into, you know what I'm saying, jazz music. That's a portal that opened up. You need to get back into that portal. See, these is portals that open up. When you listen to, 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 to Jimi Hendrix, it's going to open up a certain portal, all right? It's going to open up a certain portal. You're going to start vibrating on a certain calibration. You're going to start vibrating on a certain calibration. Not only that, but Jim Morrison, too. Very key. You need to get you some Jim Morrison, especially that album, The Doors. That is the, the album. You can listen to that shit every day, all day. And it's going it's a portal that's going to open up. This shit is interdimensional. And since I believe I, I brought you to a point where I can start kicking real science. 
And I'm about to start kicking real signs on you very, very soon because listen, shit, the, 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 the time is now. You know what I'm saying? The time is now. And um, even look, I disappeared from the from the scene for a little bit because I was getting refilled up and doing a lot of warfare, wedging a lot of warfare. They got, they got, they got 36, right? But I noticed that as I as I disappeared from the scene, it was like a it was like a that portal that was open start closing up, and then you start seeing this wounded beast come out with with uh, I ain't seen airplanes and helicopters in a long time. Now all of a sudden that I ain't been kicking videos, all of a sudden these motherfuckers want to come out with the helicopters and the airplanes and shit. So I said fuck that. I went to wage I, I waged war on these motherfuckers, right? And not only did I wage war on these motherfuckers, but then I masturbated. But when I was masturbating, I was carrying the thought that the dragons was gonna come and attack the uh the airplanes and the helicopters. You know what I'm saying? And knock the motherfuckers down. But not only did I do that, but when I ejaculated, I was like giving birth to a to a big dragon that was gonna come and destroy all of that shit. And then I, I made the conscious decision to the subconscious decision to get back into consciousness and, and, and just go ahead and put out more videos because the more videos I put out, believe it or not, this shit is actually saving this whole environment. See, if I was just to disappear from the conscious scene or from the subconscious scene right now, you would have this wounded beast coming up in this motherfucker with military trying to trying to lead all these motherfuckers to, to concentration camps and shit. You see what I'm saying? And But because I'm here and I'm like that pillar, you know what I'm saying? Just like wherever you are, if you're fighting a conscious battle, you're a conscious warrior or you're a subconscious warrior, you're like that pillar. You're holding up that portal. You know what I'm saying? And when people come and they listen to you or with just you being in a certain geographical environment, you're responsible for saving everyone in that geographical re uh, environment from the wounded beast. Now, if I was just to sit back and, li and live a dormant life and get back into mediocre living and, and, and engage in all this miscellaneous shit that's taking place in this world right now, then then I will be responsible for a lot of people's deaths. You know what I'm saying? Their blood will be on my hand because I have a reciprocal responsibility as Elohim to keep this portal open. And the way you keep the portal open is by consciousness every day. And I noticed that when I when I when I when I slacked off the videos, that's when this beast started kicking up. You know what I'm saying? Even though I've been doing a lot of shit, I went I attacked him so many. I have so many different stories where I went outside and it was it was some police officers right there, right? And it was a so-called black police officer right here, and a, a group of so-called black police officers right here, and a group of so-called white police officers right there. And I walked in the middle of them and spun on their ass. You know what I'm saying? And and released a certain kind of uh, 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 melanin poison, you know what I'm saying, from, from me. And basically by going through be between them and spinning on them and releasing that, that melanin poison, you know what I'm saying, it caused a division. And I also, and that was that was metaphorically dividing them up and, and bringing down their empire. And they got, they got 36. Not only that, but I went down into... Uh, into, you know what I'm saying, what they would call, you know what I'm saying, downtown, you know what I'm saying, and I went down there and provoked all kind of havoc, made an earthquake happen, you know what I'm saying, and then reclaimed that city, you know what I'm saying, proclaimed that city and declared the city as being mine, you know what I'm saying, and um and it raised a lot of warfare, did a lot of different stuff, a lot of metaphysical stuff, brought down a lot of buildings, brought down a lot of landlines, um, a lot of different shit. Even destroyed a bridge. I destroyed the uh, the San Francisco Bay Bridge. You know what I'm saying? I destroyed that shit. In fact, they said they they, they code word for for it is that it's been um that it shut down for for five days. But in reality, that shit is all the way shut down. But if they can get enough motherfuckers to believe that. Um, is only shut down for five days doing maintenance work and if people spread their energy into allowing that bridge to come back Then that shit will come back. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I destroyed that shit for a reason. Fuck that bridge. That shit can stay br broke I'm not giving consent for that shit to get back up. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing We need to just keep taking and keep taking and keep taking and not giving nothing back But I noticed that when I got off off of the videos and shit that this beast start coming back You know what I'm saying? And the beast ain't never back you know what I'm saying? You can't never see with magic. You can't look at the apparent. You got to look at the unapparent shit that you can't see in your eyes. The shit that you, the, the, you got to look beyond the illusion of what they present to your eye game. But, but, but that right there was my cue to get back into consciousness and to continue to keep this portal open. See, I'm the pillar in this geographical location that I'm at right now. Without me, all of these entities would be fucked up. Without me, you know what I'm saying? These entities are really being fucked up right now. I'm serious. These motherfuckers, the, 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 the wounded beasts that come in this motherfucker and march all of their asses out. You know what I'm saying? And just start over. So, 
So, so, so, so me being conscious, me being subconscious and, and me keeping this portal open by continually to storm the grid and provoke new thoughts every, every day, provoke new thoughts. I'm keeping that, that I'm keeping that portal of consciousness open. And the more people who come into this portal of consciousness, the more people tune in to these videos, you know what I'm saying? Then, 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 and they watch these videos, then the more the more safety that this in environment becomes, the more safe this environment becomes. And see, there's a passage in the Bible and the, and the esoteric passage or the esoteric uh, 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 gateway, the esoteric key to this passage is, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and they are safe. You see what I'm saying? And so basically what that is, is that, that, that the name of the Lord, in other words, the the, the 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 portal of consciousness you know what i'm saying and, and when you come into this portal of consciousness when you come into that 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 portal and you and you enter into a conscious realm then you become you you you're now in a safe haven that consciousness becomes your safe haven it becomes your your refuge your strong tower you know what i'm saying it becomes your buckler the horn of your salvation the shield of your faith it becomes you know what i'm saying your sword the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and they're safe consciousness represents the lord you know what i'm saying when you come into consciousness you know what i'm saying then then you then you step outside of their realm see see their realm is the unconsciousness when you unconscious their job is to keep you out of a state of consciousness because once you come into consciousness i don't give a fuck how it seems physically but once you step into consciousness you become safe and i'm going to be going to, i'm going to go in and i'm going to be doing a series of different videos about some serious shit, some some mystical shit, and some mystery school shit. Because I ain't gave you the mystery school shit yet, but I believe that right now, you know what I'm saying, that it's important for me to go ahead and give you this mystery school shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, I think the time is now. I think you're ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you back no more. I'm finna go all the way in on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm gonna give you a lot of magic, a lot of mystery, a lot of all that shit. So just be prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? But I want to tell you that if, if you're kicking consciousness, I'm talking about a warrior, not just a student of this shit but you out on the lines and you putting it out there real consciousness and you putting shit out there you know what i'm saying and you're not afraid or none of that shit and you and you boldly you know what i'm saying slaying this beast every day you're you are like a portal you're like a pillar you're a pillar and you're holding up your whole geographical environment you're actually holding up your whole geographical environment. So I want to encourage you to continue every day, putting out consciousness every day, putting out consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So that people can come to your channel and tune in. You know what I'm saying? And hear that. And then that saves them. You see what I'm saying? Now, now I've been on my physical job. You know what I'm saying? Physically, I've been out here fighting the war, fighting the good fight of faith. Right? But, but, but spiritually and esoterically, I need to be here also with you so that, so, and, and employing you so that you can go out, empowering you so that you can go out and fight the good fight of faith too. You see what I'm saying? So I made a mistake, a conscious mistake and, and, um, of, you know, disappearing for a while and, um, and in, and in doing so, I noticed that this beast thought that he can rev up, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and think that he could do something, but you know, um. Um, I'm gonna defeat this 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 beast all uh, every day all day and and um, this geographical location is safe from all that shit. Ain't nobody going out to no FEMA camps. Ain't no motherfucking. The only natural disasters that's gonna take place in this geographical location is a natural disaster that I do. You know what I'm saying? That's it. If I if I decide to 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 to, to cause a tsunami or an earthquake or something like that, that's the only natural disaster that's going down in this geographical location. Harp, all that harp shit, that shit don't work with a conscious mind. That shit don't work with a subconscious mind. That shit works for an unconscious mind. This beast ain't as powerful as you think this beast is. This beast is relying on you and your and your and your naivety your unconscious mind giving power and credence to this beast like a lot of uh, again when you look at september 11th and you think that um uh yeah when you think that the twin towers would that the government or that the illuminati was responsible for the twin towers motherfucker your ass is is, is stupid if you think that shit you stay you got to stop giving credibility to this beast them motherfuckers didn't knock down the twin towers you know what i'm saying we knocked down them twin towers you know what I'm saying? The metaphysical uh, beings who have been kicking his consciousness, the Anunnaki, you know what I'm saying? The, the Draco reptilians, the ones that you're afraid of, they came down here 
and knock them fucking twin towers down. You know what I'm saying? Listen, why do you think that I don't agree to those terms and conditions? Why do you think that the government would knock down their main source of money? You know what I'm saying? Help that man. Look, they would not do that. They would not knock down their primary source of money. You know what I'm saying? They won't do that shit. You feel me? Period. I, regardless of what you thinking in your mind, we did that shit. And as an end result, we destroyed their whole little shit. We destroyed their constitution when we did that. So stop blaming everything on this wounded beast that we slam. Because these motherfuckers ain't got no power. They don't, the only power they got is if you give it to them. Again, where your, where your attention goes, the energy flows. So stop being mindful. Stop... Stop giving them your attention, paying them attention. Them motherfuckers ain't shit. Yo, I keep telling you, we got the control. They ain't got no control. We the government. They ain't the government. Stop calling them the government. They the wounded beast that we slain. You're the government. We're the spiritual governments. We're, we're governing the world right now. The constitution is ours. We, we keeping this constitution. I'm keeping the constitution alive. You keeping the constitution alive. We got the constitution right here. This shit is fit and spiritual. It's metaphysical. You can't see it, but we're the government. You know what I'm saying? It's metaphysical and it's spiritual. You know what I'm saying? So you can't see it, but really, we're the government. You see what I'm saying? So stop calling these motherfuckers the government. Stop calling them the police force. Listen, you're the force. Take your power back from the motherfuckers. Stop calling them the police. I'm the police, motherfucker. I'm the sheriff. I'm the last burst being that you want to see when it's, when it's a problem. When I show up as the angel of death, that's it. I'm the last being that you want to see. After that, you're not going to see no other motherfucker. You're just going to be banished and have to deal with a whole nother set of karma and a whole different type of reality. You know what I'm saying? Period. So all of that, stop. Look, take your power back. Don't call these motherfuckers the elite. You know what I'm saying? The esoteric uh, passage in the Bible says that you're the elect. You're the elite. You're the remnant. All right, you're the chosen generation in the royal priesthood. You are above and not beneath. That means you are above this punk ass uh, um, physical government. We hold a constitution of an unseen world that is way more powerful than this U.S. constitution right here. So you got to keep your constitution right here. You got to keep your constitution right here. And another thing, right? Um, um, in the in, in the Bible, the esoteric passage says that 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 we are above and not beneath. We are the head and not the tail. See, listen, you are the head, which means you are the leader, motherfucker. You gotta stop following this beast around and then following everything that this beast do and everything this beast say and fuck all that shit, motherfucker, man. That this this beast ain't got no power. This sorry ass motherfucker running around here on his last little leg, begging for a handout. Asking, listen, this motherfucker went w willing to pay you money that don't even exist, all right? That ain't got no power and no value to it, all right? Just to just to just to give you a little bit of power, just to give you a little, just to get a little bit of solar plexus energy from your solar plexus chakra. Don't sell your soul to this beast. Fuck this beast. Don't fear this beast. Don't get this beast no fucking credit. Don't get this beast no fucking credibility. Everything that is done to destroy this beast, the beast ain't doing it. We doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about the uh the earthquake that caused the uh tsunami that 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 you know what I'm saying that caused the motherfucking nuclear reactor that took out the nuclear reactor in, in the land that is Japan that, that was so-called Japan all world the land that is now Loyal Kili Osai you blaming that on harp weapons motherfucking harp didn't do that we did that why would they take out their own nuclear rec uh, uh nuclear reactor we did that you know what I'm saying? The Anunnaki and shit. You know what I'm saying? We did that. The Draco star system. We did that. Stop blaming shit. You know what I'm saying? The Syrian star system. We did that. Stop blaming shit on Harp. You giving them motherfuckers too much credibility. Harp ain't shit. That's an old world weapon that they ain't even perfected yet. That old shit, they using Hollywood technology to, to make it seem as if it's powerful than it really is. That shit ain't nothing, yo. Ain't no motherfucking Harp. We the Harp. Motherfucker, if I wanted to earthquake, it's gonna earthquake. If I wanted to motherfucking... Storm is gonna storm. If I want the sun to come out right now, the sun to come out, yo. You know what I'm saying? Period. We're we're biologically connected to the weather, and everything. Our thoughts is provoking natural events. You know what I'm saying? Natural disasters and and, and catastrophic events and shit. You know what I'm saying? Harp ain't doing shit. This motherfucking none of these motherfuckers is doing shit, yo. We doing this shit. So stop giving these motherfuckers power and stop being afraid of these motherfuckers. And listen, stop listening to all of that government FEMA camp t talk. And all of that uh, Nazi shit. Listen, ain't nobody going into no fucking FEMA camp unless you want to go into a FEMA camp. If you watch that stupid ass shit that that uh, 
them government agents, them punk, I mean, them boot, them wounded beast agents, because we the government, them, them motherfuckers ain't never a government agent, because shit, they don't work for me. I'm the government, I'm the constitution, but this wounded beast, you know what I'm saying, agents, these motherfuckers like David Icke and, and um, these motherfuckers like, like Alex Jones that's kicking that fear shit, you know what I'm saying, even that other motherfucker, uh, Jesse Ventura, the motherfuckers, all the motherfuckers took an oath to uphold the bar. All the motherfuckers work for this wounded beast. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and in terms of, of, of you believing all of that shit, look, stop, look. If it was a motherfucking FEMA camp, they got all the motherfucking coffins out there, then why the fuck ain't nobody there? They got all those motherfucking coffins. Nigga, 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 thank you, Jarks, for destroying the helicopters. If they got all the motherfucking coffins there, then then why the fuck I don't agree to those terms and conditions. If they got all those motherfucking coffins there, then why the fuck they ain't, they, they ain't put nobody in those coffins? Nigga, 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 I don't agree to those terms and conditions. They got all those coffins there. Then why the fuck they ain't put nobody in those coffins? They ain't put nobody in those coffins because they can't. You know what I'm saying? They can't do shit. They, they, they waiting for you to give them enough energy to put you there. You know what I'm saying? Where your attention goes, the energy flows. Look. If they got all this motherfucking technology and they got and they got all this the the the, the know how and and the, the manpower and the muscle to put you in these female camps and all that, don't you think they would have been did that? They ain't got it. They waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't they ain't did shit because they can't do shit. They ain't, they can't do shit. They got they got they got thirty six. That's the whole thing. They can't do shit and they can't do shit because we're not allowing them to do shit. Period. We pushing a, a different constitution, a spiritual constitution, yo. And this shit is real. And our power is way more greater than they power. That's why you got to stop giving these motherfuckers your power. You know what I'm saying? They not doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no motherfucker finna come and bust me off. And ain't nobody finna come and bust you off if I'm here. Period. That's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So in essence, not only am I staying conscious for me, but shit. Believe it or not, I'm staying conscious for this whole region. This whole land right here, you know what I'm saying, is benefiting off of my consciousness. Believe it or not. This whole land, I'm keeping this wounded beast off of everyone around me. As long as as long as long they have some kind of contact to my Merkaba field, as long as I'm in a geographical location, they're going to be safe. Period. Ain't no fucking wounded beast. Ain't no fucking... No, no old world police ain't none of that shit coming in this motherfucker and doing nothing to none of these beings around here because I'm not going for that shit. I hold a different constitution. My constitution isn't physical. My constitution is very spiritual. You see what I'm saying? And my constitution would destroy that shit every time. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no motherfucking FEMA camps. Ain't no motherfucking coffins. All them empty eyes fucking coffins, they gonna stay empty. They empty for a reason, motherfucker, because they can't put you in it. They can't put you in it. Only you can put you in it. You know what I'm saying? And and only you can put you in it if I allow you to put you in it. And I'm not going to allow you to get to, to go into those family camps. I'm not going to allow this, this wounded beast to come and bust you off to some fucking concentration camp. You know what I'm saying? To bust you off into some slavery. I'm not going to allow it. You know what I'm saying? I hold a different constitution. I'm the judge. I'm the god. I'm the goddess. I'm the Elohim. You feel me? I hold a different constitution. So ain't none of that shit gonna happen, yo. Ain't none of that shit been happening, and ain't none of that shit gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Because we not allowed when that shit. So stop listening to them punk guys, wounded beast agents, uh, Alex Jones, Palladium motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 David Ike, Palladium motherfuckers, Jesse Ventura. Then you think these motherfuckers doing you a favor? Many motherfuckers ain't doing you a favor. They trying to scare you. You know what I'm saying? And give power to this wounded beast. Man, I kick a different constitution, yo. You ain't got shit to be afraid of. And I'm the pillar uh, uh, that's holding up. I'm one pillar that's holding up this constitution. I'm one pillar. You see what I'm saying? Just like you got a pillar, the big ass pillars that hold up a building. I'm one pillar that's holding up this spiritual constitution right now. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I stay in consciousness and as long as I continue to give you subconscious thoughts to think about while you're in your conscious community, you know what I'm saying? Then, then it, this, this, this pillar is going to stay firm. You see what I'm saying? And this portal of consciousness is going to stay open. And all those who are, who are entertaining these thoughts of consciousness, these thoughts of subconsciousness are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and a righteous running thin to it and they are safe. As long as you are entertaining these thoughts, as long as you tuning in to those who are keeping this constitution, this constitution, your ass is going to be safe, period. So 
So that's what it is. It is what it is. And I just want you to be mindful of that. And I want you to also, you know what I'm saying, um, take back your power. Stop calling them the elite and start calling yourself the elite. All right, because that's your birthright. Stop calling them the elect and start calling yourself the elect because that's your birthright. And another thing, stop calling that punk ass bitch the queen of England. That bitch ain't the queen of shit. That bitch ain't shit. She finna go down just like all the motherfuckers finna go down. They whole shit is going down. Period. So stop calling them queen and king and pope and all of that old world shit. You know what I'm saying? You the queen. You the king. You the pope. You know what I'm saying? Call yourself king. Declare yourself as being God. And another thing, right? And I'm going I'm to go ahead and give you these two esoteric keys right here. These two keys. You know what I'm saying? Of safety right here. Stop claiming that you are African-American because these motherfuckers wrote in today's U.S. Constitution. They wrote that African-Americans... All those who claim to be African American are also coming into a, a term and condition of being AIDS. AIDS, AIDS. When you say that you are African American, you're you're coming into a term and condition of 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 coming of, of contracting the AIDS program. Stop saying you African American. That's one key that I'm gonna give you. Stop saying you black and stop calling yourself African American because when you do, it's at your own risk. These motherfuckers wrote that shit into their U.S. Constitution that African Americans equate to AIDS. Now again, right? Uh, what they did, right? With uh, and 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that subject alone. And 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in on that subject. But I want you to know that uh. That um, that they started doing this shit. They they wanted to start this shit when they when they was doing the African thing, the 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 so called AIDS in Africa thing, right? Then they followed up with it by plugging in Malcolm X, which was a, a wounded beast agent. That motherfucker was a wounded beast agent, even though he did a lot of good for us. You know what I'm saying? All things work together good to those who love God, to those who caught according to his purpose, even though the motherfucker was working for the wounded beast. And they plugged his ass in for a specific purpose. He still did a lot of work for us as well. You know what I'm saying? All things work together good. You know what I'm saying? Even those those things that those those things that are meant to harm you, that shit is working for your greater good. All everything is working for your good. You know what I'm saying? All things work together good for the for the good of those who love God, for the for the for the good of those who are caught according to God's purpose. Shit, what was meant to harm you would turn around and and and, and, and serve as a teaching mechanism to push you further into your destiny with more knowledge. So everything works together good. Nothing is is if you love God and you have a purpose in life, ain't nothing gonna harm you. Ain't nothing. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. The shit might be formed against you. They might be using a weapon against you, but that shit will not prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's something that you need to be mindful of. Period. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I think it's very important for you to notice. You know what I'm saying? To to notice so that you know what I'm saying you can um. Um, so that you can so that you can free yourself um, knowing knowledge is power and in knowing the truth the truth shall set you free you see what I'm saying knowledge equates to freedom you know what I'm saying why because knowledge is enlightenment once you come into the light of something you know what I'm saying those things it says in, a, in a, the, the esoteric passage it says you know what I'm saying bring those things which is in the dark to the light so once you become enlightened about something that was hidden from you you know what I'm saying then now that that equates to power that that light or that enlightenment equates to power. Knowledge is power. Motherfucker, they, they program you with this, I don't want to know shit. Nah, motherfucker, I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because knowledge is power, motherfucker. And and, and, and who runs this world is the is those who have the intelligence. Intelligence. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not talking about sinister beings or evil beings. We're talking about intelligent beings. You know what I'm saying? Those, that's who runs this world. Those who have the intelligence, the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's very key that you get intelligence, that you get intel. It's very key that you don't shine away from that shit. I don't give a fuck who's giving it. Listen, I listen to some Nazi motherfuckers on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And I just protect myself. This is how you protect yourself. You just cover your arms like this. All right. And and basically, male, you put the the right hand over the left and you put the left hand you put the, the right hand like this and you, you just take your right hand and you put it like this, right? Around this area. You put it like this. This is your constitution. And then you wrap your left hand o over and under. All right. This is your constitution. This is how you protect yourself. 
All right. This is your constitution. This is your spiritual constitution. This is your shield. This is how you protect yourself. Whenever you engage with a conversation with a motherfucker and you don't want their energy to come off of you, you, you wrap your hands like this. Whenever whenever you around a motherfucker and you, and you want to lock yourself up and you want to protect yourself, this is your constitution. This is your constitution of, of safety. This is how you keep your constitution of safety. This right here. All right. So so it's a lot of times and I don't agree to those terms and conditions. So it's a lot of times where I listen to a lot of motherfucking Nazi motherfuckers and a lot of um a lot of beast motherfuckers, man. I'm talking about real Palladian motherfuckers who, who are keeping an evil agenda, who have no motherfucking you know what I'm saying, and when I do I just keep my constitution. I just go like this and I just get the information. Look, I don't give a fuck where the information is coming from. You know what I'm saying? It's important for you to know your enemies. Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's important for you to know your enemies. You see what I'm saying? So that you can so that you can know where they're coming from. And shit. And then another thing, right? Um, the Buddha belly. I want to give you the uh the esoteric knowledge about the Buddha belly. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, because a lot of motherfuckers, they program you with this Hollywood shit and that you got to be skinny and you got to have a, a, a South Beach, a Miami Beach body and all this old stupid ass shit. And that men's chest is supposed to be rock hard, solid and all this old stupid ass shit. But once you come into consciousness, right, they know. Even even in the Sumerian text, they know they looking at they looking at the Mononakis, right? Who is really you and I? You know what I'm saying? And and they're talking about a a, a, a race of beings who are big boned. If you look at the Anunnaki, they got ass, they got titties, they got stomach. They're very big boned. You're not gonna see no skinny ass Anunnakis. And why is this? Because once you come into consciousness, it's gonna you're gonna start producing a natural protein and a natural your the, the biological chemistry inside of your body is gonna start changing. Your DNA is gonna change and it's gonna release certain chemicals, certain biological chemicals and certain proteins, and you're gonna develop a fatness. This is a spiritual fatness. You know what I'm saying? This belly right here is a Buddha belly. Ain't no fucking getting skinny. I don't want to fucking get skinny and another thing they make you they program you with this hollywood shit you got to be anorexic and as skinny as a a, a q-tip and all of that stupid ass shit fuck that you need to get fat you need to get mud you need to get fat and and, and and another thing um these women just going around and 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 th these wounded beast agent motherfuckers going around talking about oh yeah i want to get a flat ass and flat abs all that shit that's programming all that's programming you know what I'm saying? To keep you away from your true destiny. You need to be fat, motherfucker. You need to you need to get all of this going on. You need this shit going on. You need this shit going on. You need this shit going on. This is this is healthy. Being skinny as fuck is unhealthy. Being fat and thick, that's healthy. And another thing, why you why you motherfuckers is so busy, why you so-called black motherfuckers are so busy trying to lose weight and trying to lose your ass. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers is trying to gain weight. And gain ass. These motherfuckers is getting uh 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 silicone in they in they fucking in they in they lips trying to get full lips like you. Motherfuckers getting nose jobs to get full nose like you. Motherfuckers getting breast jobs to get voluptuous breasts like you. While you trying to get a, a breast reduction, that punk ass bitch uh uh on on the view the the black sellout bitch uh uh got the breast reduction. You know what I'm saying? And even and even the punk ass bitch Queen Latifah who got the breast reduction talking about oh uh, her justification was my breast was too big and it was causing back problems. Man, fuck all that shit. Save that shit, bitch. We know that your motherfucking ass did that shit so that you can maintain a career in Hollywood, bitch. Your motherfucking ass did that shit for them. Meanwhile, while you trying to take titties out of yourself, you know what I'm saying? You trying to take tissue out of your shit. These motherfuckers is doing everything that they can to get big ass titties. Dolly Parton, Dolly Parton, the bitch got the big ass titties that's out here. She ain't complaining about no motherfucking uh, uh, breast problems, you know, no back problems because her breast too big. The, the more silicone that they could put in their shit, the better that they feel. These motherfuckers trying to get ass implants and waist hip implants and all this shit. Why you so busy trying to look like them? They so busy trying to look like you. Now, another thing, right? Why you so busy trying to perm the hair and dye the hair? Meanwhile, motherfuckers coming along, twisting up they shit, dreadlocking on your ass. Why you motherfucking, why your motherfucking ass is trying to cut your beard to follow New York 
old world wounded beast uh, grooming standards, cut your beard and shit. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers trying everything they can to grow a beard. So fuck all of that stupid ass shit, motherfucker. If you fat, you fat for a reason and you're healthy. If you're skinny, your ass is unhealthy. In fact, and when you go to certain places in, in, in Africa and your motherfucking ass is skinny, the very first thing that they gonna do, you gonna have a lot of motherfuckers run from your ass. They gonna run from you like, oh shit, oh shit. They gonna think you a demon. And then the very first thing that the elders is gonna do is they gonna pull your ass into the village and feed you. That's the very first thing. Your ass gonna leave Africa fat as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're going to feed you. All of that shit that you get on National Geographic with the motherfuckers running around skinny and all of that. Man, look, man. Don't let these motherfuckers program you. Have any of y'all ever been to the continent of Africa? You know what I'm saying? Which is now Lord Yukili Osai. Have you ever been there? Don't let these motherfuckers program you with that shit. You got a lot of beings walking around that motherfucker fat. You know what I'm saying? And, and fat is even a bad word. Healthy. You know what I'm saying? They program you with the fat shit. You got a, a lot of motherfuckers walking around there with the Buddha belly, and that shit is 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 worshipful. You know what I'm saying? When you got them Nigerian and them Ghana uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Africans coming over here, I mean, um, gods and, and goddesses coming over here, the very first thing that they say is, damn, these motherfuckers over here are skinny. The very first thing that they look for is a, is a so-called fat woman. That's the very first shit. If you skinny, motherfucker, they, they, they equate that shit to being a demon. Or they equate that shit to being um, malnutritioned. What's wrong with you? Come here. Let me feed you. That's the very first thing that you'll do. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. When I went to uh, 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 Lord Yukili side, which in old world is called Africa. When I went there and shit, when I went back home, very first thing, motherfuckers was pulling me in everywhere, feeding me and shit. I'm like, damn, why are these motherfuckers feeding me so much? They was telling me, no, 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 you're too skinny. No, 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 no. I'm like, damn, eat this, eat that, eat this, eat that. You know what I'm saying? You go into certain customs and shit, ain't no motherfucking, you will rarely see a silver spoon. You will rarely see that. You will see a lot of uh, 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 utensils out of wood. As, as much as nature as you can possibly get, then you got certain rituals where you actually eat with your hands. It's forbidden to eat with a utensil because you got to get the full vibrations with your hands. And that's a high ritual right there. You see what I'm saying? That ain't barbaric. That's a high ritual right there. But but rarely you will see the the, the, the metal or, or silver or none of that because that kills the particles of the food. As soon as the, the silver touched that shit, it's attacking the, 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 the vegetables and all of that. Nah, you got to get wooden, wooden utensils and eat with wooden, wooden utensils. Even the Chinese tell you that with the, with the wooden chopsticks. Pick the shit up with the wood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when, I, when I do my, my supplements, my, when I do my rituals with my supplements, I have a wooden... I, I either dip the wooden spoon in there or I get it with my fingers and then I put it in the jar or I put it in the, the cup or I put it in the blender. Why? Because we're talking about we're talking about um we're talking about getting as close to nature as you possibly can. You see what I'm saying? So so be mindful of that. Don't fucking feel all stupid about your weight. If you fucking if you're healthy, you're healthy for a reason, motherfucker. You keep that. And as soon as you get into consciousness, the very first thing you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start developing the Buddha belly. The Buddha belly, motherfucker. You're gonna start walking around this motherfucker like Brahma. Well, fat ass a fat god. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, you get the word Abraham, you get the word Brahma. Same entity. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be doing a lot of history on that. I'm finna, I'm finna be giving you a lot of esoteric knowledge, yo. I'm finna be giving you a lot of esoteric knowledge because, you know, um, I believe that it's time. I believe that, you know what I'm saying, we've come to a time-space continuum where, where you're ready for it. I think you're actually ready for this particular kind of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, this, this, this next information that I'm about to be giving you is, is your particular information. I don't want you to think that this is the. I don't look at the 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 teacher and 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 want to and want to be like the teacher or follow the teacher. This is your particular information. This is your particular science that you put down before you went to a sleep spell, and you agreed to get this particular information right now in this time space continuum that we are in right now. This is your particular information. All right. So I, I wanted to, to you to be very clear. This knowledge belongs to you. Not me. This is your knowledge. All right. All right. You're called what we call the great old ones. 
all right or or the ancient ones you that's who you are you you feel me and and the reason why you're able to get this particular knowledge right now or this particular um information right now is because you're vibrating at a certain calibration at the heart chakra which is allows you to even tune into my frequency to even get this information right now whether your ass is so-called white black mexican asian whatever the fuck you're all a part of this spiritual constitution and you're vibrating at a certain calibration of your heart that allows you to get this particular information you see what i'm saying so i want you to be mindful of that now um now um there's a great book that i want you to get by jr barrelin it's called the uh it's called parallel myths that's a that's a dynamite book i want you to get that book is full of all kind of stuff they got they got 69 they got they got 69 now um what i want to tell uh, what i wanted to get into is that um you know um I want to I want to give you the book of Parallel Myths. That, uh, it's called Parallel Myths by J.R. Berlin, dynamite book. You know what I'm saying? And it talks about um, it talks about how in that book it talks of the it's science in that book and it talks about how the book of Revelations, the back of, the book of Revelations in the Bible was shamelessly shamelessly copied from the Persian Revelation. You know what I'm saying? And um and in, in the book um uh um uh, Parallel Myths by J.R. Uh, uh, by J.R. Um, Berlin, he puts down the science and and uh, um and um and he and he and he makes all of the dots. He connects all of the dots. You see what I'm saying? Now, now um now um lots of beings are are blindlessly manipulated into believing that the Bible is the divine inspired word of God. You see what I'm saying? But not realizing that the Holy Bible was merely a text that was copied from esoteric knowledge retained from from the, the Alexandria Library and fragments of truth that came up out of ancient Kemet. When I say Kemet, I'm talking about what you know as being Egypt. All right. Kemet, which is the first established civilization known to man, period. All right. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Kemet. Kemet is Egypt. All right. And um, so 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 basically, the whole Bible ain't shit, but a whole bunch of fragments of truth that was taken from Kimmy, taken from Egypt. You see what I'm saying? And messed together in one book. And um, there's there's great reason for that, and I'm gonna get into that. But I want to connect some of the dots, the the dots, because I think it's very uh, it's significantly essential for you to get this kind of information right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a great study on this and just connect all of the dots even further. But um. So you um so 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 the Bible is artifacts um or a group of pamphlets that was that was that was basically floating around the ancient world and was messed together in a book called the Holy Bible. It has nothing to do with no damn uh work of God or none of that shit. And they didn't have nothing that was new. They didn't contribute nothing. It's nothing new. Uh uh uh. It's it's not a new contribution to um to 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 nothing that's in the bible it's only fragments that was taken out of the alexandria library and fragments and a lot of fragments that was taken out of the gnostic text and a lot of fragments the whole new testament is gnostic and um and 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 fragments that was taken out of out of kimmick all, all for the 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 the, the, the hieroglyphic walls the hieroglyphic writings that was in that was in that was in you know what I'm saying that was in those temples in Kemet in Egypt all right so so the whole Bible is 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 layers is layers of constitutions in the Bible see what I'm doing is I'm teaching you the the, the esoteric constitution in the Bible you looking at the physical shit you thinking that it's physical you know what I'm saying but I'm giving you the esoteric knowledge or the esoteric constitution of the bible and we're not just stopping with the one paradigm of the bible we messing it all together you know what i'm saying we messing it all together and so i want you to be mindful of that you see what i'm saying they got they got 69 so so moving on you know um i write in my notes that um I prepared all this stuff for you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's important for you to get all this, this information for you right now. You know, this is your information. All right. Don't look at me like I'm I'm somebody, even though I am somebody. But but look at yourself and give uh, um, credence and credibility to yourself for who you are as being Elohim or who you are as being God or goddess. You know what I'm saying? And this time space continuum. They got, they got six nine. 
Thank you, Giants, for destroying the airplanes. Thank you, Dragons, for destroying the helicopters and airplanes. Um, all right. So, um, uh, so uh, the book of Ezekiel, right? So, so you got the book of you got the book of Ezekiel in the first five books of Moses, and that's basically copied from that's basically copied from the uh, Hermetic text. You know what I'm saying? Out of Kim, the came the Hermetic text that came out of Kemet, and then you have the Gnostic scripts. You know what I'm saying? Which was out of Kemet and was copied. You know what I'm saying? And later converted into uh, the New Testament in the Bible. You see? So so we're talking about ancient editing. The Bible don't have nothing more of the Word of God that did nobody else have. You see? And and, and, and basically what you had was you had a bunch of motherfuckers that came and just edited from different ancient texts. And then comprise that into the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So we're, we're talking about ancient editing and not, not a new work. Or a new inspiration of God. We're just dealing with editing. Alright. Now. Um, so it's very important for you to be mindful of that beloved. Now also. It's very important for you to. Um, it's very important for you to be mindful of that. And then um, also move it along. Right. The um, 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 the only difference. Is that. Is that um, the ancient world understood. You know what I'm saying. Um. Uh, what your so-called Hebrews tried to fake as being Abraham, Moses, and Christ. Number one, see, the ancients from the ancient world, we we understood, understood, and overstood that Abraham, Moses, and Christ, number one, the ancient world knew that Isis, Osiris, and Haru, and all those uh, particular mystical figures were number one um, um, principles of the human body and principles of the human experience and number one groups of beings that would resurface in the end era or the end and at the end of an age or the end of a of a prophecy of a of the end time you see what I'm saying and 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 that um 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 and 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 that and 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 we knew this the ancients knew that that Abraham, Moses, and Christ, right, were 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 were, were principles. They were formulas, alchemic formulas, and principles of of a particular group of beings that were resurfaced in the end time, right, and um, and 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 and, and, and nothing more. We were talking about principles. All right, so um. So um, the next point that I want to make is that um, these were principles or formulas and that, and that these uh, mystical characters that uh, they, they didn't exist on one realm. At least they were mystical gods and existed in other dimensions. You see what I'm saying? So 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 and we're going to get into all of that. We're going to get into all of that. We're gonna get into all of that because I'm gonna break down the mystery schools because I really I'm a firm believe I, I firmly believe that you're ready for these mysteries now. You know what I'm saying? I broke out, chiseled away a lot of density and a lot of uh, uh stupid thought, Christian thoughts and and Islam thoughts, all that stupid Ju Judaism shit, the 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 hocus pocus shit. Now we gonna get into the esoteric science of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So 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 you see that the Bible is merely uh um. It's merely an esoteric book that was comprised by editors and not authors. All right, they didn't they didn't author nothing. They edited it and and took in from other different shit. You see what I'm saying? So basically, they took in a bunch of artifacts and ancient texts and and, and prophecies and messed them together all together in a book called the Bible. And we're gonna get into all of that. So so what happened was by the time you by the time uh, the Hebrew sect of beings. Who who is nothing more but followers of um uh um I I could not, you know what I'm saying they weren't nothing but uh, the the Hebrews the so called Hebrews they was just followers of Akhenaten, you know what I'm saying and and by the time that the by the time that the by the time these he, these these Hebrews uh um who was followers of Akhenaten Akhenaten uh, uh came up out of Egypt because remember. The Torah was written, uh, uh, what, what about 700 or 700, uh, 700, uh, years after Moses, you see? So, so these followers of Akhenaten, what they did was they historicalized sublime figures. And that's what we're going to begin into. We're talking, we're talking about the, they historicalized sublime figures. And that's what we're going to get into. We're going to break the, the science down. All right. 
and, and so and so um so they they historicalized this these sublime figures and threw the people off with this Christianity and Judaism and Islam shit. They threw you off with that shit. You know what I'm saying? They threw you off with that Christianity, Judaism, and Islam shit. Because basically what happened was, so so you get the word Osiris, right? But you also get Amen Ra. Now Amen Ra means hidden, hidden Amen, hidden, and Ra son. Amen Ra. Hidden son. So you get the word Osiris and then so you get Osiris, right? You get the god Osiris and then you also get the god Amen Ra. Now Amen means hidden and Ra means son. Hidden son. You know what I'm saying? The hidden son is your soul inside of you. It's your solar plexus energy. All right, the hidden sun, I'm in Ra, that's inside of you. So basically, what, what threw you off with Christianity, Judaism, and, and Islam was that they, they historicalized these sublime figures, but and but 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 and they took them out of text. So you getting caught up in a literal literal form of 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 uh Christ, of of Moses, of Abraham, but you're not First of all, you have to realize that these are principles, metaphysical principles and formulas that were talking about you and talking about the human experience and part of your biology. They're talking about chakra systems. They're talking about a little different, a lot of different things. And listen, you are the the um, the Christ. And that's what they didn't. They wanted to keep you away from. So so. So when they said that the beast was going to rule for 6,000 years, motherfucker, it was 6,000 years of misinformation. You know what I'm saying? It was 6,000 years of, of them faking history and, and taking this and blowing that up and doing this and, and keeping you away from the truth. All right? And, and, and because knowledge is power. You see what I'm saying? But all that shit is doing uh, is going away from. You know, we, 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 motherfucker, we took this shit back. This shit belong to us. Motherfucker, and that's just what it is. So you get the word Osiris and you also get the word Amen Ra. Amen Amen means hidden, Ra means son. Hidden son is your soul inside of you. All right? Amen Ra. All right? And so Osiris is the hidden God um, or the and the mentor of the underworld. Osiris is the hidden God and the mentor of the underworld. Then you get the word Brahma. All right? You get the word Brahma in India um, with the with the with the Hindu system which is one of the same uh, uh, figures and by the time you get to by the time you get to Hebrew you get the word Abraham you get the word Abraham so you get the word Brahma from the from the Indian system right from the from from in India from the Hindu system you get the word Brahma right but by the time you get back to these Hindu mother um, by, by the time you get back to these Hebrew motherfuckers you get the word Abraham so, so you learned that, that the Bible ain't shit, but a whole bunch of real esoteric knowledge that was taken from certain geographical locations and certain ancient texts and meshed together into today's shit. You know what I'm saying? But you have a lot of different things working. In the Bible, you have three different constitutions going on at the same time. You got a spiritual constitution. You know what I'm saying? You have three type of constitutions going on at the same time. And I'm going to go, I'm going to get into those three type of uh, constitutions. All right. The, the, the Bible is really written for three kind of beings. All right. For three kind of beings. And I'm going to get into that too. You know what I'm saying? So, so in India, you get the word Brahma. And that's coming up out of the Hindu system, Brahma, right? But by the time you get back to the Hebrew motherfuckers, you get the word Abraham in the Bible, all right? You get the you get the word Abraham in the Bible. So we're talking about sublime figures being historicalized in the Bible. We're throwing your ass off with this Christian uh, Judaism and Islam shit because you're getting stuck on a historical figure, but you're not realizing metaphysically that these figures are representing principles, Certain DNA formulas inside of you and also these figures are also representing who you are. We're talking about a certain group of beings who are going to resurface in this age, the age of the Aquarius. And in this time frame that we're in, this time space continuum that we're in. All right. So, so, so again, you get the word Brahma. Then with Hebrew, you get the word Abraham. Now, look at the word Abraham. Look at the word Amin Ra. Look at the word Brahma. Right. And then there's another word, Abrex and Abram, you know what I'm saying, and Abron, you know what I'm saying. And then you will find out that these particular Amin Ra and stuff like that, you get Abraham, that they're all the same figures. They're all the same being. They're all the same being. 
All right. The only difference with Abraham in that the Hebrews historicalized him. They historicalized him. They made him a historical figure. They made Abraham an historical figure, historical figure. That's the only difference. We're talking about metaphysical principles. We're talking about DNA formulas, alchemical formulas, and we're talking about metaphysical uh, principles and dealing with your chakras and a Kapala tree. You know what I'm saying? A different, and I'm going to get into all of that, right? That they took that in historical lies, these sublime figures. So again, you get the word, you get the word Brahma, right? And then you get the word Abraham, the same entity. So look at the word, look at the word Abraham, look at the word Amin Ra, look at the word Brahma, all right? Then there's another word, Abrax and Abram, you know what I'm saying? And then Abron, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Then you'll find out that, um, that, um, that this particular Amin Ra, you know what I'm saying? It, you, you get the word Abraham, that they're all the same figure. The only difference with Abraham is that Abraham was historically, um, historical. He was historicalized. And the priest knew this. All right. The priest knew this. All right. Um. And they also knew that it wasn't no sons and daughters that after Abraham that existed after Abraham that he fathered. No, he only fathered. He gave birth to a, to one kind of beings. His sons and daughters was the beings of Israel. That was it. After that, it wasn't no sons and daughters that he fathered to become many nations and all of that. That was some historical shit. That was some fake shit. He only gave birth to one sons and to one to one nation and that was Israel Israel so you get the word Israel then you break that down you get is which is Isis Ra which is Amin Ra and El which is Elohim all right Israel Israel right you get you get you get the word Isis you get the word ah I mean Ra Ra and then El Elohim right right now El Elohim El you know what I'm saying and another word in in Chaldean and the Chaldean, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Chaldean word for 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 uh, 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 Horus or Haru, you know what I'm saying? Which means Christ in in Kemet. Haru means Christ. He's a Christ in Hemet. You know what I'm saying? You get the word Horus or Haru, right? Where you get the the figure of Christ in the Bible. You see? So we're, 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 we're what I'm saying is we're talking about particular. Um, we're talking about particular principles. We're talking about principles that was historicalized. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what's throwing your ass off is because you're looking at the literal form of these motherfuckers and you're not paying attention to the principles and what they represent. You see what I'm saying? You're not you're not you're not you're not looking at this shit in terms of alchemy, in terms of formulas, in terms of in relation to the Kabbalah tree of life, in relation to the chakra systems, in relation to you know principles. Of 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 the human body that's inside of the human body, dealing with DNA, dealing with melanin, and principles that's inside of the human experience. All right. So Israel is 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 two type of entity. It's three entities in one name. All right. So Brahma or in in Hindu or Abraham in in Hebrew, same entities gave birth to one sons and daughters, which is Israel. You know what I'm saying Israel. Israel, Rael, you break it down. Is, is, which is Isis, right? Which is the woman, the, uh, the, 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 which is the, 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 uh, the, the wife of Osiris, all right? Ra, which is Amen Ra, which is the son, and then El, Elohim, you know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, and, and El, and, and Chaldean, you know what I'm saying? Is the, is the same word for Haru or, 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 or a Horus or Haru, you know what I'm saying? Which, when you get to to Christianity, I don't agree to those terms and conditions. Nega, nega, nega. I'm Lord. You kill your sign beside me. There is no other. When you get to the Bible, Haru means Christ. Haru is Christ. All right. So you see what I'm saying? So, so, so we're talking about principles. So, so Jacob, Isaac, Isaac. All right. We talk about Jacob's ladder. All right, Jacob's ladder is the backbone of Osiris. Jacob's ladder is the backbone of Osiris. The the jet. The, the jet pillar, all right, the, the jet pillar, you know what I'm saying, which is also called the shet pillar, Yahshua Christ in the Bible, all right, the shet pillar, you know what I'm saying, the shet pillar is the is the kundalini energy, it's the, kundi, the kundalini energy 
the, the, the Kundalini energy in the blood, all right? The blood vessel in the back of you. You know what I'm saying? These are particular blood vessels. Listen, if you was to open up, if you was to open someone up, you will see blood vessels in their back. So, so you see, and, 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 hold on, I got to plug up this. In one mythological, in one mythology, right? In one mythology, Moses, Moses rod, he used his rod to part the Red Sea. Right, Moses used his rod to part the Red Sea. Remember that? All right. Well, well, the Red Sea and the blood vessels, and the the Red Sea is the blood vessels in the back of uh, of you. The blood vessels in the back of you. You see what I'm saying? And, and Moses' rod parting the Red Sea. That's that's myth mythical. So you're looking at these historical motherfuckers, right? And you're not realizing that these historical beings are sublime figures that represent principles in the human body and principles of the human experience. So when Moses, the in 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 in, in mythology, Moses using a rod to split the Red Sea is really talking about the Red Sea or the blood vessels in your back and the Kundalini energy rising up. You know what I'm saying? The Kundalini energy rising up and parts the Red Sea. So, so as the Kundalini energy rises up and you go to the and you go to a higher level. So, so so that so that so that's Moses parting the Red Sea and the blood vessels rising Kundalini energy which are which which is which is a fire at the that sits at the base of your spine rising up. All right, it's called the backbone of Osiris or the jet, the, 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 the jet pillar or the shit pillar. Yahshua Christ in the Bible, he shed his blood so that you can live. You see what I'm saying? He shed his blood so that you can live. We're talking about cosmic mysteries. We talking about we talking about mystery school. See, 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 they kept a lot of this shit from you. And when they teaching this shit in the Bible, they're not teaching this shit so that you can be the best that you can be. They teaching this shit to keep your eyes in slavery period. You know what I'm saying? So we talking about sublime figures who was later came in historical lives to throw your ass off. And that these figures represent, these are principles and formulas of the human body. All right. You know what I'm saying? Jacob's ladder is talking about the backbone of Osiris. It's talking about your back, your back, the blood vessels in your back. You know what I'm saying? And when Moses came and split the Red Sea, that was the esoteric passage talking about the rod that he used to split the Red Sea, the blood vessels splitting, you know what I'm saying? The Kundalini energy rising up. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's talking about. You know what I'm saying? And as the Kundalini energy rises up, you get to a higher level in your chakra systems, and you also get to a higher level in the Kabbalah tree of life. All right? So all of this shit, man, this this it's a lot of shit, you know, and I'm, we're going to get into this. I'm, I think you're ready for the, the mystery schools. So I'm going to go ahead and start going in and giving you a lot of these cosmic mysteries. Nega, 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 36, nega, 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 36, nega, 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 69. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to start giving you a lot of these mysteries again, all right? Um, because I believe that it's important for you to see. Everybody has a right to see, all right? And that's my, I'm a firm believer. Everyone has a right to see. Everyone has a right to know what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, um, now, um, same thing, same thing, um, uh, 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 as the Kundalini energy rises up, same thing as Jacob's ladder. So we're talking about metaphysical esoteric principles later on historicalized. So sublime mythology makes grotesque history. All right. So, and I don't agree to those terms and conditions. Nega, nega, 69. Most of the biblical teachings What's throwing you off is that, you know what I'm saying? See, you're thinking that these historical things that have happened to people and they're talking about mystical principles that are inside of the human experience and inside of the human body. But they're mystical principles and revelations of a, of a, of a, of a people or, 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 or a certain group of beings, a particular group of beings who will come in the future. Which is now. Which is us. You see what I'm saying? So so we're talking about high magic and we're talking about concepts. You know what I'm saying? And breaking down these concepts of high magic. You know what I'm saying? So that we can access the full power. Right? 
And these are the different things that we're going to be talking about um, as we move along into the mysteries of the universe. And, and these are the different things that I'm going to be sharing with you. All right. And um, so I think it's very important for you to um, to be mindful of these different um, um, different things, because, listen, um, shit. And I don't really sponsor the Gandhi motherfucker. He was plugged in an agent. You know what I'm saying? But um, but one of the things that that motherfucker really did say before he died was they asked him, what are you? Are you Hindu? Are you Muslim? What are you? He said, listen, I'm Muslim. I'm Islam. I'm Islam. I'm Christianity. I'm everything. In other words, what he was saying was that shit. You can't get stuck up into one religious system and think that that's it. Because when these motherfuckers came down and they was destroying science, they was putting down their science. And when they start putting down their shit, motherfucker, they destroyed a lot of our shit. And everything is just hidden fragments. So you can't get caught up in just Christianity or Islam or Ju Ju J Judaism or, or Hinduism or Buddhism. It's fragments of truth that you got to pull from all of that shit. And all of the all of that shit mess it together so that it works for you. You got to formulate one system so that it works for you. You see what I'm saying? And that's what Yahshua was basically doing in the Bible, right? When you talk about um, Yahshua in the Bible, Christ, who is Haru, and Kemet, you talk about him studying and traveling and doing all kind of different, going to different mystery schools and studying and researching, and then starting his own mystery school, which was the 12 disciples. The 12 disciples was basically his initiates, and he was basically teaching them how to fly, teleport, shape shift, you know what I'm saying, cast out demons and all of that shit. Everything that they did, they did. And everything that they did is because he was teaching them cosmic mysteries. And, and these are the different things that you have to remember, beloved. See, listen, when this beast took in, when they when they started slavery and brought the slaves over from the land of uh, uh, Africa, Old World Africa, which is now Loyu Kiliosai, into the uh, the Americas, the New World, right? Uh, old World shit, which is now Loyu Kiliosai. It was a certain group of beings that jumped off of that boat, and and and, and the beast thought that they was that they died. They thought, oh, they died in the water. And then it was a certain group of beings who came here. Right to this land and, and 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 flew back to Africa. It's a book called The People Who Can Fly. The People Who Fly. The People Who Can Fly. Get that book. And it talked about, you know what I'm saying, a certain group of beings from Syndigo and from, from Ghana, right? Who who came over here, right, and motherfucking flew back. They took off right there in front of everybody's face. See, 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 then you had certain tribes and certain families, certain certain bloodlines in, in Africa who can do certain shit, who have mastery over certain shit. You have the people who can fly. You have the people who can go into water and live underwater for years and who can breathe underwater. You have the people who can fly. You have the people who can go underwater and live for years. You have the people who was invisible. You had the people who can levitate. You had to you had certain groups of people who had mastery over certain families, lineage, bloodlines who had mastery over certain shit. So when they jumped off the boat and you thought that they was dying, motherfucker, they didn't die in that water. They they, they swam their ass back to their land. And when the people came over here, all they did was they they, they planted certain... They came over here with hidden certain kind of uh, 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 herbs and shit. And when they came over here, they worked until they got the herbs that they needed to get. You know what I'm saying? And then they was also communicating telepathically with the with the Amix that was already over here. The Moors had already had a, 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 a different kind of form of communication which was a, a cricket form of communication. They, they communicated through, through crickets and they communicated through, through air. They would think a thought and telepathically blow the air and communicate or they beat on the drums, the talking drums. You know what I'm saying? They had beat on the drums, but the, the drumming, the beating on the drums was actually a form of communication. And they communicated through a rhythmatic system, through with, with all kind of beings that was all over this land you know what I'm saying? Through, the, through the, the drumming and through the hums. The hums. Remember I gave you the esoteric science of the hummingbird. And how the hummingbird is really within inside of your heart. And it's projected from your heart chakra level outside of you. And the hummingbird deals with communication. And it deals with healing. And it deals with joy. And it deals with, you know, um, the, it, and it teaches you the communication of energy between plants, flowers, 
animals, and so on and so forth, and you project the hummingbird from inside of your heart chakra. I gave you the esoteric science on that, and I gave you a video uh, uh, of the hummingbird and that magic right there. I gave you that science right there. All right, and if you have, if you missed that video, you need to go ahead and get back into that video and watch that video because it's very important for you to get that information, that particular information. Now, um. Now, um, now it's important for you, right? Wherever you are, I'm gonna stop right here, um, because you know I just want you to meditate on that right there. I want you to meditate on that 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 particular information that I just gave you right there. And if this is something that you want to learn more about, if if these mysteries ain't spooking your ass, and this is some shit that you want to learn more about, then we can get into these mysteries. We can get into these mysteries, and 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 and, and we can talk about this more. If this is something that, that's not spooking, you you know what I'm saying? And, and, and because I really believe that it's important for everyone to see and everyone to know what's going on. And um, important and, and, and in order for that to happen, you need to you need to know what's going on. You need to you need to, you know, somebody like me need to come in and shock, shock your ass with some truth. This this, you know, what I'm saying so we have. We have um, we have um. I'm finna get into the mystery schools. I, I let me know if if you're ready to start learning esoteric knowledge, and um, if you're ready to, to to start learning more about the human anatomy in relationship to the cosmic universe that you are, and if you're ready to start learning about um, different deities which represent different powers inside of your body if, if this is some 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 information that 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 you know that that you are um that you that 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 you're ready for you think that you're ready for this kind of this particular information then go ahead let me know leave a comment and go ahead and let me know and i would take this but i will go ahead and i will start giving you this particular information because i believe that you're ready for this particular information if you're ready for this particular information nega 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 69 nega 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 69 nega 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 69 nega 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 69 nega 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 111 nega 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 222 nega 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 33 nega 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 444 nega 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 555 nega 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 66 nega nega 777 nega nega 888 nega nega 999 nega nega 999 nega 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 999 nega 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 999 Nega 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 na 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 nega 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 na na na. Basically, what I was doing was it was some some punk ass sirens in the background trying to distort the vibrational frequencies. So um, I brought in the nega serpents. Now words are interdimensional, and every time you call upon the nega, when you say that, you're actually calling for negas to come out. Words are interdimensional, and also I was using Chaldean numerology supreme mathematical numerology and also phi numerology which is the new numerology that i've been creating myself you know what i'm saying and and communication of of angels certain angels and certain deities communicate only through numbers you know what i'm saying which is a higher vibrational frequency than words you know what i'm saying and so i was using the signs of numbers you know what i'm saying to fight this beast on a different level of warfare and that's what that was all about and when i said that i don't agree to those terms and conditions basically i was saying that as elohim beings were using sounds and vibrations through the jiggling of the keys and the knocking on the door and all of this little shit that's going on externally out there to to present things to me see i'm elohim and i belong to a spiritual constitution and so i pick up on the sounds and vibrations i know all that shit you know what i'm saying and when i say i don't agree to those terms and conditions in other words i'm saying no i'm not agreeing to that that perception, they're, they're presenting things to me, and I'm saying I don't agree to that perception. See, I'm, I belong to a different constitution, which is a spiritual constitution. So you look, you, you, a lot of y'all are caught up on the, 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 a lot of you are caught up on, um, the, uh, the, the, a lot of you are caught up on, you know, um, the, the physical shit that you see around you. You caught up on the physical shit that you see around you. And you're not, you're not really, you know, 
really in tune with the spiritual the spiritual shit i belong to a spiritual a spiritual constitution yo and um and in the spiritual constitution um it's i have i have a certain responsibility right now there's a certain responsibility that i have that i that i'm maintaining right now until you know um we raise the vibrations of the world and and until then this is just the what this is how it is this is how it is you know what i'm saying um so 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 right now you're looking at you know the temple of Kamun, you know what i'm saying um um you know what i'm saying it's 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 a lot of stuff man it's 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 a lot of stuff you know it's a, it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff you know you know right now you listen you're looking at the the temple of Thor. you're looking at the temple of esther you're looking at the temple of you know what i'm saying all this shit is is metaphysical it's it's really spiritual you know what i'm saying and um if if you if you really ready to get into this 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 kind of information if you if you're ready to get into this kind this kind of information if this particular information is something that that appeals to you then then go ahead and let me know you know what i'm saying and then we'll get into this you know what I'm saying? We'll get into this. We'll, we'll dive into this esoteric knowledge. And together I'll walk you through this so that you can make a shift from physical to spiritual. You know what I'm saying? So that you can tap into this melanin that I'm talking about. Because it's chaos. It's chaos. And that's the thing. is, is You got to be willing to go into the, the chaos. You got to be willing to go into the darkness. You got to be willing to go into that dark matter. You know what I'm saying? And just flow like water and just move like water and just flow with that dark matter. You know what I'm saying? For my ancestors and for um um birdie only nigga 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 so so uh if this is if, if this is some particular information that that you're ready to start learning right now then go ahead and let me know nonetheless it's important for you to go ahead and 13 13 13 333 3, 3, kick the shit out of this beast every day take what you can from this beast and don't give it back you know what i'm saying nigga 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 um continue to, to smash Use your metaphysical weapons to, to destroy this beast. I, I keep on telling you, blow up this wounded beast buildings. Blow all their buildings up. Fucking uh, blow up gas stations. Blow up bridges. Blow everything up. You know what I'm saying? This right here, this finger represents Jupiter. This finger represents Saturn. This finger represents the sun. This finger represents Mercury, which is the messenger of the gods. This finger right here represents your power and your ability to blow these motherfuckers up. Send lightning. Jupiter represents lightning. It has the eagle and the and the, uh, the phoenix bird of immortality and other different metaphysical weapons. You know what I'm saying? Use your your your, your pointing finger. That's why in the Bible they programmed a certain lower constitution, not dealing with the high constitution of me, but they was talking about a certain group of beings, and they said, Beware of the arrows that fly by day and the fiery darts by night. They was talking about us in this particular time space continuum when we was going to come back and start burning shit up. You know what I'm saying? So so you need to start using your metaphysical weapons. You might not be able to see it, but motherfucker just know that you're sending lightning. You know what I'm saying? It's the intentions behind the energy that gives you the power of God. It's the intentions behind the energy that gives you the power of goddess, period. And that's some shit that you need to be mindful of, and that's some shit that you need to know. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, while you looking at motherfuckers, listen, you got one enemy and that's the beast. But then on your on your path, you have other beings on your path who are sort, sort of like buffers. Basically, it's like they will come and sharpen your iron. And when they sharpen your iron, motherfucker, like when you buff in the car, that shit ain't easy. That shit is work. And when somebody come to buff your ass up, basically what they doing is... They're just making your weapon more sharper, and you thinking like, damn, why this motherfucker, this motherfucker, like, 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 like the Apostle Paul said, a thorn in my side. This motherfucker, like a thorn in my side. Why is this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But basically, what they're doing is they're doing their job. You know what I'm saying? And their job is to buff you up, is to, is to, is to sharpen your shit up. So while you looking at a lot of these different entities or beings as being evil, no, they were. They were created by you before you went to sleep to wake your ass up. And the way that they waking you up is through hardships. They making you work. They making you pull out your metaphysical weapons. They making you develop your Amen Ra, your hidden son. They making that hidden son come out. You see what I'm saying? 
and I, I did the video and I talked about we're biologically connected to the weather. So if I want my sun to come out, I can project the sun out there, up there, from here. Everything up there is the pettiverse. Everything up there is directly resulting with what's going on right here. Every star system up there is a representation of the human anatomy. You have your shoulders is the Leo star constellation. All right, your shoulders. And that's one aspect of what that means. The hair represents Leo and your speech. The lion, your speech, what comes out of your mouth is the lion of Judah, all right? It's the Leo star system, all right? Your throat is the Scorpio, your ass and your skin, all that's the Libra. That's why when, when women like to get fucked and they like you to slap their ass, they act, you activating their Libra energy. You activating the Libra energy, you slapping the ass, you know what I'm saying? And, and all this shit is metaphysical, but every star system up there is representing in your, is represented in your body. And every... Every spiritual system that was ever created is represented in your body. And they're all aligned in your DNA. So when we talk about um, a new world order, and they want you to fear the new or world order. Basically, what they're talking about is, is a new world order coming back. And that new wor world order is basically going to be the return of the gods. But when we're talking about the return of the gods, we ain't talking about some motherfuckers that's just going to come up, rip open the sky and come down and motherfucking... And rule your ass, cause I ain't finna be. If I was a slave to these, listen. If I had to work my my way out of being a slave to these motherfuckers, what makes you think that I'm gonna be a slave to these so-called gods when they come down? Now, nah, motherfucker, I might I might as well don't even exist in because I'll be challenging them for their spot, motherfucker. I want that spot. If you if you what made you a god? Why I can't be a god? Why you can only be a motherfucking god? Well, fuck you then. You just gonna have to kill me, motherfucker, because motherfucker, I'm gonna keep trying until I can become a god. See what I'm saying? So when we talking about the so the return of the gods, we're not talking about we're not talking about motherfuckers that's gonna come from Planet X or 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 Draco Star System that's gonna be. We're talking about you. That energy is gonna be given to you. You're gonna wake up and realize. Hold on, I'm Het Haru. I'm I'm Osiris. I'm 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 Brahma. I'm you. Know what I'm saying you're gonna wake up and realize that you're Shakti. That you're shot. That you're that you are Shiva. You're gonna wake up and start realizing. Hold on, I'm Osiris. I've been I've been the whole time. You know what I'm saying I've been. You see what I'm saying the whole time. I was Christ. I was Yahshua. I was. You see what I'm saying. So we're talking about God bodies. We're talking about. Bodies who are going to be embodied with God abilities, you know what I'm saying? And that's taking place right now, all right? So everything up there in that petty verse, that universe, the shit that you, the sun and the moon, all that shit is going on right here, all right? And, 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 and what's going on up there is reflecting what's going on right here, period. You know what I'm saying? It's what's going on right here. And, and like they said in the old world, before December 2000, before December 21st, 2012, right? They said that as above, so below. Now we in the new world, as below, so above, all right? So it's like an hourglass. You got to just some celery. I'm eating some celery, working on my defensive systems right now. Strength and psychic abilities and all kind of other shit. But... Nigga, nigga, nigga. Notice when I start speaking, that portal opened back up. Ancestors was able to come forth. You know what I'm saying? Gods and goddesses was able to come forth and fight the motherfuckers out the sky. So, listen. As Osiris with Het Haru influence in this underworld that I'm in right now, it's important for me to go ahead and keep conscious shit. To keep this portal of consciousness open up. Even though, you know what I'm saying, that I have to get refilled and replenished. I still have to keep this portal of consciousness open up. Because not only am I, you know, saving myself, but every being in, in this whole geographical location and every being in this whole city is being saved. I'm holding up, a, I'm, I represent a pillar of consciousness. Like you see a temple and a temple have different pillars that hold up that temple. Well, I'm holding up the spiritual constitution from where I am right now. You see what I'm saying? And this portal of consciousness is open up. That you get the you get that that esoteric passage in the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and they're safe. We're talking about we're talking about a temple, and and we're talking about not the temple of Esther, not the temple of we're talking about we're talking about the tender uh uh uh, uh 
We're talking about, I'm not even going to give you that right now. Because I want you to do your research, all right? But, by me being a pillar right now and, and, and kicking this subconscious and conscious conscious, you know what I'm saying, um, um, uh, uh, um, consciousness, then I'm, I'm holding open this temple. I'm holding open this constitution, this temple. And the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous one that's into it and they're safe. That's an esoteric passage for all those who, who entertain these thoughts are a part of this they're they're inside the temple. If you go about your day and you just think one of these thoughts, you're in that portal of of safety. You're in that temple. You're in the temple. You're in this temple. If you just think one of these thoughts, if you think these thoughts, if you meditate on these thoughts from here in this video and other beings who have greed in this particular time to help you wake up and to realize that you are God or goddesses, that you are Elohim. If you if you if you if you entertain those thoughts, you're a part of this consciousness. And by being conscious, you're in a different space. Even though physically you might be here, spiritually you're not here. Spiritually, you're a part, you've joined the constitution spiritually, and you're spiritually being protected. You see what I'm saying? You're in a safe place, you're in a refuge, you're in a safe haven. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's important for you to stay in consciousness because the, the more you continue to stay in consciousness, the more your the more safe your ass is. I don't give a fuck what some of these other motherfuckers believe. Nobody in this whole region is gonna see a, a, a FEMA camp or a, a wounded beast takeover type of situation. They ain't gonna see none of that shit. Why? Because I'm here and I'm conscious. I'm keeping this portal open. And as long as I keep the portal open, right? The more these spiritual beings come down from these temples and they smash, they kill, they destroy shit every, uh, all around us. And they keep, they fight on esoteric planes and astral planes and even on this mundane plane to keep the beast off of you. While we're growing up and while we're waking up and you see what I'm saying? So I've agreed in, to be in the underworld where I'm Osiris and I'm resurrecting certain entities who forgot, who who went into different degrees of darkness, of, of, of density, not darkness, of density, and, and forgot who they were. And I, I got to be down here and judge them and mentor them and, and wake them up, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and share with them, listen, this is what's going on, this is who you are, you know what I'm saying, wake up, see who you are, realize who you are, become conscious, just become conscious, give you a little conscious thought, that's it, you know what I'm saying, and that's what I'm, I've agreed to do. You see what I'm saying as Osiris, but now, now that the energy grid of the earth is rising, shit is changing. Shit is changing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and kick a lot of a lot of conscious knowledge because a lot of subconscious knowledge because this portal got to stay open and these these beings in in this area in California got to be free, yo. And they got to be safe. And the only way that they can be safe is if those pillars keep the pillar. And the way you hold your pillar is by continuing spreading consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Not just getting consciousness, but spreading consciousness is what's keeping the, the pillar open. Shit, just me being here is enough to save everybody in this region. Just me being here is enough to save everyone in this region from some wounded beast bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But it's important for me to also, you know what I'm saying, continue to give you consciousness so that you can you can stay safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous running into it and they are safe. The more you 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 enter, the more you become conscious of thought, you know what I'm saying, then 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 you're you're entering into like a, a tower, a strong tower or a constitution or a temple. Where you you receive safety. See what I'm saying? So consciousness is important. And their job is to keep you out of consciousness. My job is to keep you in consciousness. And to get you to your subconscious mind. See. What they did was. You see. Nigga, nigga, nigga. I don't agree to those terms and conditions. Nigga, 69. What they did was. They, you separated. They separated your unconscious mind from your conscious mind. And your subconscious mind. The thing is. Is to go from being unconscious to conscious. 
once you get to your conscious mind, don't start a community there and get comfortable. Shit, build a community there, but then take off and go from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind. And once you get to your subconscious mind, the objective, you know what I'm saying, is to link your unconscious mind to your conscious mind and your conscious and unconscious mind to your subconscious mind and then rule your unconscious mind your and rule your conscious your subconscious mind your conscious mind and your unconscious mind from a place of a of authority from a place of of godhood from a place of you know what i'm saying of 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 immortality from being in your subconscious mind so don't just get comfortable in consciousness motherfucker you need to get into your subconscious mind that's when you don't eat, when you don't think, when you don't sleep, when you don't shit. That's when you just smashing. You just taking everything back. You just subconscious. You have ultimate power. Period. You will never you sleeping. You don't have to sleep no more. You don't have to eat no more. All of that shit is a matrix. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to sleep. You don't have to eat. You don't have to do none of that shit. Every all of that shit is a matrix. And I'm gonna get into the subconscious mind, the science of the subconscious mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into the signs of the subconscious mind real soon. Real soon. Because I really believe that everyone has a right to see. Everyone has a right to know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? And so, no, I don't agree to those terms and conditions. Nigga, nigga, I got not. So, you know, um, you know, um, so yeah, you know, let me know if this is some, some information that you, that you want to get into. And if you want to get into it, I'm going to tell you how to take the next step into getting into magic. So I love you and I need you to survive for tech.